Greetings, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We connect from around the world, recognizing our circle growing in its strength. This is our creative space, our creative lab, where month after month we come together to explore, research, meditate and listen, awakening the souls of our nations. Thank you for joining. Before we start our work today, uh, invite us to add the name of our country to our name. Unfortunately, there is a technical limitation during the registration that uh, the name of the country doesn't show up on the list during the webinar, even you include it in your registration. So it's what we suggest, it's uh, to edit your name and you can do it uh, by finding your name in the control panel and to do right click on your name and find in there, edit your name and email. So if you press that, there would be an option to change your name. So we suggest to add the name of your country uh, following uh, your name. And that way we will see representations of the countries uh, in our circle. And that would give us a better understanding of the presence that all of us bring with us in our circle. If you have any questions, just uh, chat, uh, write your question in the chat box and I will try to help you. And saying this, I invite Uta to lead us in our work today. Thank you, Alexander. And welcome everyone. We are in the month of Sagittarius and in Sagittarius we envision. So this will be also the focus of today's training session as elders. So we ask ourselves, how do we see our role of elders, of world stewards. How do we grow into it? What do we, uh, what do we envision? Um, we are gradually developing a technology. And it starts, I think we have all understood um, in these very tense times that our first requirement must be a united common base which is our heart no matter what and on this safe base we can then make the next step of thinking through the world situation towards what DK calls a completed point of view. And as we said already many times, at our present level of development, our point of view will not be complete. But um, this very effort, this act of thinking through as clearly as we can, our understanding of the world situation, this effort to formulate a standpoint, this, even if it's not complete, and even if it necessarily it is one-sided, it will 
in any case contribute to the clearance of the mental plane. The clearer we think, the more we get to clarity on the mental plane. And when then we will be also able to learn to synthesize our various viewpoints, not fight among ourselves, but synthesize, listen to each one and come to, come to a synthesis, then eventually we will be able to shape a vision for humanity, a very much needed alternative to the materialistic thought form, which still rules the world so catastrophically. So let us do what we can to bring ourselves up to this task. And today's session, we will do a step towards it, beginning with our own nation. So let's prepare the space for this work by meeting in the heart, in the focused silence of our chamber of the Council of Elders. So let us withdraw our attention inwards to a place of perfect stillness. Breathing deeply. Grounding in our body and through it in our Mother Earth. We are calmly present as a soul in incarnation. For a moment, let us touch base with our own nation, standing on a pinnacle as the conscious self of our nation midway between its personality and its soul. Just feeling the love for our nation and also our freedom from it. holding the note of our nation, while at the same time holding our own personal sense of self, balancing the two. So now we are ready for the gathering of elders, letting ourselves be drawn to a beautiful building set in nature. And entering it, we come into a quiet, clear and spacious chamber. People are filing in, obviously from different parts of the world. We 
and they find their seats perhaps in a circle or half circle. And we take our seat among them. Sensing the rich background that each brings into the space, the unique note of their nationality. Outside they look different, but the same wisdom is shining through their eyes. Their faces radiate benevolence and integrity and freedom. It's easy to feel how each one loves their nation and also is capable of addressing fearlessly and honestly its shortcomings. Savoring another moment sitting in the presence of this council, in this spread of vision and consecration of heart. Sensing that this is a safe space for the affairs of the family of nations. So let us maintain this fine-tuned field as we are now getting ready to do our work And we start with a, um, a little brief report from the Klangschale group from Germany of our experience um, with preparing and presenting the snapshot last month and the beautiful blessings we received. And what, what effect it had on our group. So I, in, I invite Annette to share this with us. Uh, thank you, Uta. Hello, dear friends of the family of nations on our beautiful planet Earth. Yes, yes, Annette is speaking on behalf of the German Klangschale group. And we want to express our gratitude for the experience of the last lab and for the rich soul blessings we received for Germany. So we are still deeply touched by the feeling of being embedded in a network of light by many nations by having received so many blessings from them. We are still struck by the perception that Germany is recognized and perceived in the larger context of other nations. So for us, the blessings were like a warm stream flooding the German soul. All of us perceived that something has opened up. Through and during the preparation and presentation of the snapshot, our work got more substance. And through your feedback, we got different approaches that we can further deepen in our work and our understanding of Germany. 
the great responsibility of Germany became more apparent to us, a responsibility we share, and also the importance of further deepening the consideration, review and revision of the international relations. The expectation of other nations of Germany to stand in its soul strength, in its power and courage to take responsibility and to speak out and be a pioneer for courage for the other nations have touched us. The idea that other nations believe and wish that Germany can be a pillar for peace and coming together in Europe for Europe, made ourselves feel courage and strength and hope. Our own blessing for Germany was energetically strengthened and moved into a wider context. This is a very valuable reinforcement and strengthening of our work. So what a great gift and significant act to bless each other's nations. These blessings are seeds that take root in our consciousness and in the consciousnesses of our nations. Yes. So let's make the next step on this common path today. Thank you, everyone. And over to you, Uta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, this work is a pioneering work and um, it's, um, it's, it's reverberating, it's, it's doing, it's rippling, it's, um, it has an effect and it's deepening in us as we do it, it's quite wondrous. <laughs> And one more wondrous thing is um, we initially, initi initially had planned to present today a snapshot of Israel, if you remember. But our Israeli unit found it more difficult than expected to reach a needed level of ripeness by today's deadline. Um, yeah, we were surprised by this. We have investigated for many years the Jewish people, so we thought it's not a, not such a big deal to look at Israel as a nation. But uh, when we focused on it, we realized that there are several complexities in this young national entity um, that we need more time to ripen and round out our impressions into a coherent picture which can be shared. So it will be next month. Um, so from this experience, we would like to invite all of you to start considering working with a snapshot, preparing a snapshot. So in one of these next months, um, you could present it here in the lab. It does take time. And we hope that today's training session will make this task a bit more tangible and doable for all of us. So let us um, return for a moment to Asajoli's psychosynthesis of a nation. I would like to ask Alexander to put this egg picture on the screen. Sorry for the bad um, quality of this picture. It's the only one I could find. It is a variation on Asajoli's famous egg diagram. It's a bit different. Um, we have added something here. This whole egg shape um, represents the field of consciousness of a being no matter if it's an individual or a nation. 
and you see it's divided into three parts the the subconscious the conscious in the middle and the um, superconscious above in the upper part and the little star there is of course the soul the star at the apex and uh, on the demarcation line between the conscious and the superconscious this is uh, this point there is uh, signifying the stool of the director the place that we take as an elder the midway point between the personality and the higher consciousness of the nation so this is our pinnacle so from here we do our work as the director we observe we synthesize and we radiate our snapshot protocol that we will in a moment go through again guides us through this process step by step observing synthesizing radiating the observing we do with our sensory analytical and intuitive faculties yes we feel we 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 think and we intuit and we direct these antennas down into the subconscious into these unresolved issues of our nation and into the field of conscious awareness of the nation what is present on the current public arena and up into the superconscious into the soul potential and the synthesizing we do by bringing these different parts into relation in our own consciousness our own field of consciousness so we hold this silent receptive loving space in which eventually our impressions gel into a coherent picture of our nation And then out of this synthetic picture, we distill the most immediate point to focus on. And this is the vision of the needed next step. And this vision we formulate into, into a sentence, into a mantra, and we radiate we radiate it out in the form of a blessing to our nation. It's like a fiery arrow of the future on the wings of love. So it's a whole process. A process in our lab, we do it as a, as a, um, we take a fifth ray research approach on the wings of love. So let us again go briefly through the snapshot questions before we take them into meditation. Here they are on the screen. Thanks. At first, this feels like a long list and like a tall order to go through all these steps in one session. And two months ago, this is what we did. And some of you said that it was quite an effort. But um, when we do it a few times, the process becomes like a, f a fluid sequence. And with continued sessions, the different areas get more and more penetrated by our consciousness and eventually a picture a map emerges that is easier to hold and um, so it will become more comfortable 
So we start by a look into each of the three aspects of the personality, physical, emotional and mental. And then we look at the personality as a whole to get a general sense of the outer expression of our nation. And then we zoom in to have um, a specific look at the weaknesses. And now the new uh, one new focus is how these weaknesses may be used as entry points by outside forces, by global evil. How these forces may take if they if there are such forces that take advantage and manipulate our nation for their own ends unfortunately we see in this world crisis that probably many if not all nations have to grapple with this and it is important to become aware of it And then we look at the strength of our nation. And then we look up towards the soul. And here with each session, we open our consciousness anew to the soul of our nation. We let go of any previous conceptions about it because it is an unfathomable well and each time we grasp something new in it and out of this continued receptivity a sense of the possible contribution of our nation to the family of nations takes shape in our consciousness And then, after we have looked down and looked up, we look now at our nation's capacity to self-reflect, to be aware of all this. Self-reflection is the hallmark of an entity which is integrated, which has developed enough of a soul-infused self to observe and direct its affairs from this level of the stool of the director. In this present world crisis, we see this capacity of self-reflection. A lot is happening around this. Those who are already have it, sometimes it, it is just seems to be subdued in many nations and in some nations this crisis helps to kind of reinvent it or in others to for the first time come into it so it's a very interesting um, it's actually a key point to be aware of as elders And we, as elders, as best citizens of our nation, we take on this function. We bring the different parts that we are aware of, becoming more and more aware of, we, we bring them into relation in our own consciousness. The manifested part, personality, and the potential, the soul. And when we stand in this tension between what is and what lies ahead, out of this tension emerges the vision of a next step for the nation. Let's take a moment to sense this, this creative tension. When we stand consciously between the personality and the soul of our nation, Bringing these two together, 
in our consciousness we birth the next step for our nation. This is the true act of magic of the director, the magician at the midway point. And this next step we formulate into a phrase or a sentence into a very practical call to action pertaining to the outer affairs. It's a phrase that is born out of loving care for our nation. So this is our work to clarify the next step and hold it for our nation as a vision. We become causal. We envision the immediate future and ignite it to happen. So the snapshot protocol is actually a magical act. And uh, when we take it now into meditation, let's perform it as a magical act. And um, if you would like, have pen and paper ready. Since it's a long process, it's good for some of us. It's helpful to jot down just a, just a word or half a sentence um, during all these questions, because it's difficult to, to remember all this. Okay, so let us turn inward now, breathing, touching back into our inner stillness. Aligning soul, mind, heart, body. And we reconvene in the chamber of the Council of Elders, overlooking the family of nations. And we are one of these elders. Let us open our consciousness to our guides in the higher worlds that support and guide us in this work. And now let us each one focus in on our own nation. As an elder, taking up our position at the midway point between the personality and the soul of our nation.
and joining there with our national colleagues. and drawing a line of contact to the higher co-workers who guide our nation, human and deva. Holding our nation in our heart and directing now our sensory, analytical and intuitive antennas towards the different aspects of our nation. beginning from the bottom up with the physical expression of our nation. Take a moment, a minute to become aware of its borders, its landscape and the human presence. Shifting now our light of discernment to the emotional plane of our nation. Sensing into the emotional atmosphere. Discerning the various astral streams and dynamics. Focusing now on the mental world of our nation, discerning the different thought forms there, the more foundational ones and the current more superficial ones and their dynamic interaction.
And let us now look at the national personality as a whole. How developed is each aspect and how integrated are the aspects with each other? Is there dominance? Are there cleavages? What would be the main energy expressed through this personality at this time? Perhaps some ray quality or astrological quality. And let us now focus in on the weaknesses of our nation. What are the main problem areas, the main unresolved issues? And can we discern any outside influence, any form of global evil taking advantage of our national problems, manipulating the nation for their own interest?
Okay. Now let us shift our view to the main strengths of our nation. And let us for a moment withdraw our awareness back to the pinnacle at the midway point, breathing and recentering ourselves on the stool of the director. And now let us turn towards the soul of our nation, being receptive, leaving behind all previous thoughts, opening ourselves to completely new and maybe unexpected impressions. Which qualities can we discern? Can we sense the national soul's ray or astrological quality? Its potential, its contribution, to the family of nations. And recentering now on the stool of the director of our nation, breathing, reconnecting with our colleagues, getting a sense of the relative strengths of this national conscious self of which we are a part. Who is standing on this pinnacle with us? What force is this?
How developed is the national capacity for self-reflection? And does it express in the outer world in any way? Now, standing firmly at the midway point, let us draw into our awareness both the personality and the soul of our nation, bringing them together and standing in this tension of that which is and that which lies ahead. And from this aligned place, let us see if we can discern the nation's current challenges in its outer affairs. Which difficulties and decisions does it face? And out of this, what may be its needed next step? What may the soul wish for our nation in the current situation? We take now some time for a phrase or a sentence to arise.
And let us extend now this soul-inspired blessing upon our nation in light and love and will. And while the blessing continues to reverberate into the consciousness of our nation, let us withdraw our attention back into the midway point onto the stool of the director of our nation. Breathing and releasing now this work. Gently returning to our own energy field and grounding back into the here and now. And we take a moment to note down any impressions. Okay, getting ready for some sharing. Um, let us focus today not so much on our nation in the sharing, but on our own experience as an elder, on what is happening in us as we do this work what works well, what's difficult, any new discoveries in ourselves or new questions pertaining to us in this process of learning to become elders.
before we start the sharing, I just want to remind uh, about request that was suggested last time when we start our sharing to say our name and country where we are from. Mm -hmm. Thanks for reminding this. Greetings, everyone. This is Margot from, from Country of the Heart. What surprised me is, is that, yes, I, I live in Canada and I love Canada, and, and yet I'm not of Canada. So uh, perhaps I'd let go of, of, of a bit more sense of, of nationalism or maybe patriotism, I don't know. But I'll say that it's the country of the heart is, is what came to me. And how was your experience as an elder doing this process, Marco? Well, I recognized that when I first stood on the pinnacle, that the group I was standing with wasn't anyone that I knew. Hmm. And a couple of a couple of people showed up later on that surprised me. One was the, the mother of our current prime minister. And the other was a, a famous Canadian author. Uh, there were others there too that I, I couldn't identify. So it was a lot about letting go and Margaret, you you make some some uh, noises with your microphone, maybe. Oh, it's, um, thank you. I'll hold it out away from my collar. Mm -hmm. um, so it all came as 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 uh, something new, quite a surprise. Um, There were other things that that appeared in the reflection as we went through, uh, but that's that's more my personal experience. Was it too long? Was it strenuous? This? Uh, no, it wasn't. It... I didn't find it as strenuous this time as I did the last. Um, the only I. I didn't write anything down for the emotional because I was still focused on the physical, but the rest of it, I was able to um, to uh, get a sense before you moved on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Thanks. Hi, this is Helen from Israel. Um, I am still uh, vibrating <laughs> with this meditation. Um, I feel that I am really in a big tension. Um, as you said, Uta, in your introduction, that we were supposed to have a, a snapshot today and that we had difficulties and the difficulties are still resonating within me and i'm really grateful that i have we have another month to uh mm -hmm. to be able to uh to bring bring something together coherent inwards yeah to be able to express it and then uh, this move from what we thought that might be a uh, um a snapshot of a country of a nation we moved from this wide world people dispersed the jewish people that dispersed in the whole world and linked by a by a common heritage to something in situ de facto a physical place a physical people with its newly acquired characteristics, 
trying to grab that from a, from a perspective of uh, uh, of an elder that I try to be. Um, being on the pinnacle of our state, of our country, uh, with a um, uh, desired 350, 360 degrees view. And it is so challenging. And I almost don't know where, where to go from, from there. Um, it's like uh, uh, trying to grab something, uh, a snapshot of the moment of what Israel is now in the in in in, in its being, and uh, a picture of now in the midst of a perpetual mobile of changes, and still trying to grab the essentials of it. Um, so I must say that I am in a very big tension. <laughs> I think that me and and not only me, I talk for myself, but but uh, but uh, also my co-workers. <laughs> um, and this tension is uh, very vibrating. To be uh, to be in the midst in the, in the middle of uh, on this midway point, really um, aspiring to be uh, to be in balance uh, and to to uh, to look at what is and what lies ahead. Well. I really need time, and I really wish that we 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 will get to uh, to a uh, um, a point of view that is good for now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, and and the 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 protocol is is a very helpful one. I think it's a it's a it's a good scaffolding for this work, um, and it also um, gives both a wide view and a lot of heart, and also a capacity of uh, taking the photo of what it is now. Hmm. You found the, the, the pace okay? Huh? You found the pace okay? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. It's not only okay, it also, it also, um, it, it gave me, it gave me a, um, uh, um, a good space, yeah, to be able even to feel to feel this uh, uh, this feeling of unrest that I have. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's quite a job to to stand. To, it's it's taking on us on ourselves a, a responsibility when we stand. You know, this act of standing between the personality and the soul of a nation, it brings us into this tension. It's really, yeah, it's quite a job. Thanks, Helen. So thank you. Thank you, Uta. And thank you all, really, for, for being there. I feel uh, um, so, uh, uh, what would I say? Uh, uh, protected and encompassed. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bernard, uh, from uh, France, uh, I thank uh, 
I sense the very strong the shift uh, uh, from a conscious shift to be an elder in that uh, council uh, chamber. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel very strong, uh, united with the, all that uh, all these uh, elders of uh, the nations, peaceful, radiant, and uh, um, aware of uh, all solution of uh, all nations in that in that space mm. and uh, i was uh, surprised but i i don't uh, share uh, no but i was surprised uh, what uh, reveals uh, during the meditation about uh, friends mm -hmm. Perhaps uh, to see with uh, Josette uh, if we can uh, prepare uh, something for uh, the coming months. That would be wonderful. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Bernard. Was it uh, was it very strenuous this uh, snapshot? No, I, I feel uh, it was, uh, uh, for me, it was uh, fluidic. Sometimes uh, I need a, a, a little more time, but uh, in uh, the whole meditation was, uh, for me, uh, fluidic and uh, without uh, tension. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Oh, hello, here's Annette from Germany. Um, I want to share a picture, a situation that came to me. Um, the picture of sitting together in the Council of Elders and reflecting together about the next steps. And in relation to these next important global steps, thinking together about which task of this, or which tasks of this next steps can currently best be initiated or implemented by which nation mm -hmm. and um, in this um, situation i felt the importance for elders to know the strengths and weaknesses and bounds of their nations very very well and doing the meditation with this or under this realization uh, it worked much better for me today so thank you very mm. much beautiful right right andrea please unmute yourself this is andrea from the united states and it was an interesting meditation today because I really contemplated what it means to be an elder. And in the United States, um, that really created a path to look at the future because the United States has such a juvenile and adolescent sort of nature, maybe understandably based on the fact that it is, it is a relatively young country. Um, but it, it was really taking that stand of, of, of sort of taking a mature point of view um, to sort of be wise in looking at the action of the United States and the actions of the United States and overcoming sort of the tensions of separation and boundaries that exist even as we in the United States are traditionally a place of inclusivity and and diversity. Um, we we see ourselves as that melting pot and and sort of honoring all cultures and ideologies and religions and races. 
And so it was actually just trying to bring myself to that place of maturity, to bring myself as soul and the personality of the nation into a mature stance in which our sort of cooperative, charitable aspects um, sort of become truthful. Mm -hmm. um, it was it was interesting just sort of trying to take that that elders perspective for this country. We have so many wonderful adolescent qualities, mm -hmm. our ingenuity and our and our sort of excitement and our want to reach to all. And yet we don't act on many of those. We believe them, but are we actually putting them into action? Is there actually that melting pot or, or not? Mm. Out of many, one. E pluribus unum. That is our, that is our motto. Mm. We speak it, but do we? Is is it part of our active consciousness? I'm not so sure yet. Hmm. Thank you, Andrea. To visualize, to envision, to feel what it would mean to come for the US to come to a place of maturity that resonates very much with me. What a what a powerful um, visioning this is. If we're expected to light the way, we need to hold that light of truth mm. in, in much deeper ways than we are holding them at this present time. Mm. You know, it strikes me what you're saying. It strikes me. Um, it it reminds me of Asajoli's um, um, one element of psychosynthesis is the ideal model, which is to envision, to to build ourselves an uh, an an ideal model to strive towards. So to think of the U.S. as a, uh, how will the U.S. be when it's maturing? It's it's a great way to to build a vision. Thank you. This is Daisha from Canada. And I want to echo Helen's gratitude to you, um, Uta, for providing us with this protocol. And I'm so grateful that these sessions are recorded. Is the Soul of Canada group has decided we will undertake a retreat early in the new year. It will have to be an online retreat, unfortunately, because we stretch across Canada from people in Ontario to people in British Columbia. But the protocol will provide us with the structure for us to start to develop a snapshot of Canada. Mm -hmm. It's been um, a real process as we've continued to meet and reflect on 
the lack of synthesis between the soul of our nation and its personality. And we seem to still be in some kind of collective, naive, uh, kind of ideological dream state. Mm. We've, we've created for ourselves a narrative of Canada as the good guys, as peacemakers, and anyone who is awakening to the reality of our history and our current state of lack of synthesis knows that's a lie. And I love this idea of ideal model to strive towards because mm. perhaps that's what that narrative that we've been fed for for decades for our entire history since canada as a nation a colonizing nation was formed perhaps that when we look at it from a position as as of elder citizen we can see that ah maybe there are elements of that narrative that can help us in mm. constructing an ideal model for us to strive towards hmm. so there is so much it is so rich and what i envision is us listening to this recording and then pausing it frequently as we there probably will be about 10 of us really exploring what this means from all the various perspectives of the individuals acting as souls to come to a deeper richer understanding of what the purpose of the soul of Canada is. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, if you need any materials also written, let me know. Well, you've been very good about providing them and um, yeah, I mm. think, I think we have Ah, a rich ground in which to plant the seeds of our becoming a stronger soul group on behalf of Canada. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Thanks, Daisha. Pleasure. Hello, um, this is this is um, Kit from the United States, and um, I, uh, as far as the process, I found it very um, it was both rich and challenging. Um, so that was good, and I also realized that it's also an aspirational process. <laughs> And um, regarding the United States, I, uh, because I, and this is things that are going on, you know, within me, of course, too, is that, you know, we are in the nation that was founded during the Enlightenment with so many of the values that were so ahead of their times, um, and that are so much of of who we are is aspirational and mm -hmm. and yet um you know like when we have the statue of liberty and saying that we welcome 
everyone and and yet at the same time you look at our the literally in our history the majority of the time the united states has been the opposite um but it just again shows one of the many ways there's that certain aspirations and then i i think often one of the, one thing that holds us back so much as a nation that can hold us back as individuals and things but the united states uh really has a, a real sense of uh not uh wanting to look at any you know officially look at almost any of its dark shadows and then the other thing you know it's sort of include and transcend all that development so many there are many people who are feeling oh the aspirations or or, or this moving to more maturity and less separation and everything their identity the way they see things they feel very much left out of it either because of the shadow or the oppression or because they or we you know might be losing power but but it's just so much um of what an aspirational nation we are and also i think because of maybe our youth we it's easy to as far as manipulation and and again, so many of these things happen both in the individual, in groups, in nations, and things. So, but, um, you know, and, yes, and e pluribus unum is our motto, which is just, uh, just really something. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kit. Yeah. I find it very um, hopeful, encouraging that we can have such this way, this type of exchange that we can also speak about these things that are difficult for us. I'm really happy that we that we reach this place that we are. We feel comfortable enough with each other to also share our difficulties and um, also the difficult things that we perceive of our nations. Um, it has a relieving, relieving, relieving um, effect, I think, when we can share these things. Once we can look at them and 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 speak about them, then they they lose their their grip on us. So anyone else would like to share before we close? I think while we are in the energy of the full moon of Sagittarius, it's good keep, to keep in mind that it's, it's the ideas that we share and meditate, they find their way 
into the minds of uh, people in our nations, those decision makers, intelligentsia, and just people of goodwill. So it's important to hold it as intention that these ideas will find its way into public discourse and will become part of the that manifesting reality that we want. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, we are forging fiery arrows and distribute them into the consciousness of our nations. Yeah. I, uh, so, sorry. Um, please. Uh, it's Jill from the UK. Uh, apologies, I didn't realise you were still talking. Um, I was just going to say that on in the part of the UK, what I've seen to see is that uh, because of our colonial past and we're an old country, the um, governing bodies and the elite seem to have held on to a bit of arrogance and um, they think uh, that our country is rather more important than it is still. Uh, but the ordinary people are really uh, quite soul-led, I think, because they all seem to think of each other and want the best for all. And so there's that discrepancy there that uh, needs to change. Thank you. Hmm. Thank you, Gillian. Yeah, I would. I just wanted to say again that this template, this this protocol of the snapshot, uh, is is something that will continue to evolve. So any of your feedback um, is very welcome. As uh, it's really a a, um, a work by all of us to forge it into, into the most powerful tool it can be for all of us. So next month, uh, the 10th of January next year, we will have our next webinar and it will hopefully have the snapshot of Israel. Okay, Alexander, you have any um, announcements? I invite uh, all of us to um, join the Sagittarius Solar Festival gathering tomorrow at the same time. And um, let's continue working together in our beautiful circle. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you, everyone.